Hi guys, it's Matthias, and in this video I'm going to show you some gameplay from the map Drop Zone. It's going to be pure infantry, of course, because this map doesn't have any vehicles. And in the beginning here I'm using the same loadout as I'm using for Walker Assault. For primary I'm using the A280C Blaster Rifle. My first card is the Cycler Rifle. Second card is the Ion Shots, which is going to mess me up a little bit uh, on this map, because you don't really need the Ion Shots here. And I'm using the jump packs as well, which is very useful on this map, actually. So now, as much as I like this weapon for the uh, bigger ranges that you have, and mostly on Walker Assault, I think it's pretty good on this map as well. But especially on this map, I'm really curious about some of the other weapons, and I'll show you some of that uh, at, the, at the later part of this video. You'll see me use the um, DH-17 Blaster Pistol instead, and I will use this weapon when I'm on the Rebel side. I'm still playing in first-person mode. I feel much more, com much more comfortable playing in first-person mode in this game, actually. Um, a lot of people have suggested that I should play in third-person, and I will try that out as well. But uh, so far, I don't see the, uh, the same benefits with it as you see in games like, for example, H1C1. But uh, maybe, maybe I'll change my mind about it. Now, the objective on this map and this game mode is to secure the drop pods as they keep dropping down on the map. They keep dropping down on different places so that uh, you cannot predict, or I, I don't think you can predict where the next one is going to drop down. And maybe you actually can once you know the game well enough. Now at first when the drop pod uh, touches ground it's neutral of course, and it's up to either the rebels or the imperials to claim it. And this is what it looks like, you walk up to it, hold in E for a, a short moment, and once you have captured it, you don't need to stay in its vicinity in order to secure the cap. Uh, you only need to make sure that the rebels or your opponents can't capture it back. Now on this map I'm not entirely sure that the cycler rifle, uh, the sniper, is the right choice. Uh, sometimes I think the grenade might be a lot better, or maybe even the shield. But so far I've actually really enjoyed the sniper rifle, and uh, there are some uh, range shooting happening on this map as well. Now for a headshot, the sniper rifle is a one-hit kill. If you hit the body shot, it does 90 damage, taking down a full HP player to 10, so it's quite powerful. So now at this point my uh, teammates are attacking the drop pod from the opposite side compared to me and I'm able to surprise some of these guys and claim it back. Yeah, that was a little bit too many. Um, I was able to get at least one of them, damaged uh, some of the others, and slow them down a little bit. I think we secured that drop pod. So now keep in mind, if you've only played or checked out Walker Assault, and you think that might not be the um, game mode for you, then I can assure you this is very different. Now, the whole idea with um, the meta game, so to speak, is not all that new. I think I've seen, uh, I've, I think I've seen similar things in a lot of different shooters like Crisis and whatnot. I'm not, no, I, I can't really place it. But it's actually quite fun, and the fact that it's so different from Walker Assault is something that I do really appreciate. So yeah, once the drop pod is claimed by one of the teams, you can clearly see the timer indicating how much longer it will take for that team to actually claim it.
Now here you can see how the drop pod belongs to us. Now the circle around it is still mostly white and it turns blue slowly going uh, clockwise. Now the player spawns are uh, seemingly quite random and uh, sometimes it can be actually a little bit hard to find them for a few seconds. Now as much as I want to stay close to the drop pod and defend it, I'm also looking for a little bit of action. And at this point in time we seem to have the area around the objective relatively secure. Yeah, I actually got airstrike at the end there. But uh, this allowed us to secure the last drop pod and we were able to win this round. Now before I end this video I just want to show you some gameplay when I'm using the DH-17 blaster pistol. I've actually unlocked all weapons and hopefully I'll be able to show you all of them. And yeah I just want to say that um, aside from just switching out to the primary, everything else in my loadout is, actually, is, is exactly the same. So yeah I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you want to see more Star Wars because there is going to be a few more videos coming up uh, until the beta is over. Anyway, that's all for the post commenting on this video, and I want to thank you all for watching.
picking up another escape pod homing beacon. Secure the area and the pod. Here they come. The Imperials are securing the area around that escape pod. We need to stop them. 